My name is Valeria Napoleone. I'm a collector and also a patron. I've been collecting for the past 20 years, almost. I would love to see it recognized as a collection that made a difference because I want to see ambitious projects by ambitious women artists. I'm very much engaged with the community, with the artwork community, and I'm very proud to be part of this community. We live with the artworks, I mean, as many works that we can host in, the, in, in our home. It's a domestic space and it's beautiful to see the art exhibited uh, with compromises. We don't have perfect lighting, we don't have perfect wide cube spaces, um, we don't have perfect flooring, so it's interesting to see the compromises that I do, when we do to accommodate the art, and reconsidering what is art and what is domesticity. No, I'm a feminist, whatever it means nowadays, and, uh, and I believe that um, the world is, uh, is created for everybody, um, that art history belongs to everybody. And so why do we have in art history just the providence of uh, white men artists? This strong sense probably of, uh, of, you know, fairness and justice in me, that is probably another trigger element that made me really uh, look into this direction. The collection is roughly 300 pieces. So, uh, ranging from uh, any medium, uh, video, photography, uh, works on paper, painting, sculpture, and installation. I collect uh, on, a, on a kind of a civilized pace. I need to, I need to understand the artist. I need to, to, in order to appreciate it, obviously. I need to uh, connect to the work, to include works that for me are uh, first choice and not just uh, a random pick. A catalyst probably for people to look into a direction like my XX projects now, like um, everything that I've been doing for the past 20 years. I think it's a duty of, uh, of a collector to to support the public system to, to give. And um, the first step is obviously to let the pieces travel to museums, uh, to regional museums, and, uh, and to let the pieces be seen and be admired and, and nurture the, the ecosystem that goes beyond your walls uh, or your city. The combination by the partnership between private and public is very important because also of the lack of funding in the public sector. Um, it's the, the role of a collector is, uh, is become, you know, of a great help. Where communities need more and have less, that's what um, I think is so consistent with what I've been doing and I feel I can make a huge difference in the artists I collect because nobody's looking in that direction. To see my work exhibited in a different space activates the work in a, in a different way. Change triggers a lot. To see it in a, in a different context, like in a museum or in a different exhibition space, Absolutely, yes. And in that context, uh, the public, the community plays a big part because there is an added element of uh, purpose. And that is important. So for me to be, to be, to be seeing my collection in the context of a, of a regional show, a regional museum where you know, people otherwise would not have access to these pieces and would not be touched by them, uh, it's, it's very exciting and I think it just gives a, another, an extra level of purpose to, to what I'm doing. It's, uh, it's not an attempt to fill the gaps in regional museums because 
because the gaps are enormous. There are black holes and women artists have been dismissed for so many, so many hundreds of centuries. So, but it is an attempt to, to steer the pot and shake the reality and make people look into a direction and consider what they've been doing. It's more a catalyst for change than trying to cover everything. And I'm very excited to, uh, to show the collection in Sheffield and Rochdale. It's, it's the first time that it travels outside my home as a, as a selection of works. And, uh, and also I'm very excited because uh, Rochdale and Sheffield are two different spaces. So it will be, it will almost look so different. Also, it will be different pieces installed as well. But um, it, it would be exciting for me to, to see this diversity in, in the exhibitions. And also to see also how the public reacts, to, to learn about the feedback. This is going to be very interesting for me to have from you guys, really the feedback uh, of, of people coming to see the show. I don't sell at auction, I don't sell. So I buy from artists, from galleries mainly. And if the gallery is not around, I buy from an artist. Um, my, my relationship with galleries is essential. It's very important and you need it. I wait a long time before I buy a work sometimes. I wait years, I wait six months, I may wait two months, but I really need to understand the practice. I need to do research, to see more work, to discuss it with, um, <clears throat> with people. I would not give it to anybody else. I don't have advisors. I love this part of my job. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's difficult to give it away. It's really ingrained in my life. It's ingrained in who I am. This is who I am, a collector. It's not a role for me. It's really who I am.